welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today i am bringing you a pretty big h&m haul i feel like it's been a while since i've done a really good shop in h&m and i actually went into store recently in manchester and spotted quite a few things that I was keen to get. Carrying loads of bags, it was just not the ideal day for it. So I took pictures of the barcodes of the things I really liked, ordered them online, came across some more stuff, ended up with two massive parcels full of things. So I thought I would sit down and show you everything that I picked up within this video. So if you would like to grab yourself a nice cozy drink, get comfy, light the candles, grab the snacks. If you haven't already subscribed, it would mean so, so much if you would do so. A few of you guys have actually reached out to me recently to let me know that you, out of your choice, were no longer following me or my homeware account. I don't know what's gone on there. Instagram, I don't know how it works or whatever but sometimes I find myself having followed accounts I did not follow so just be sure if you did want to follow me that you are still following me I don't know what's happened there <sighs> Instagram's so annoying um, but without further ado let's get on into this video got my order form here as well so I can tell you how much everything is but I will also leave all the items linked below I'm going to start with a few homeware items that I picked up first before moving on to the fashion if you're not one of the members which all you need to do is sign up for free which I have done so on this particular day they were running an offer on selected items so I'm going to give you the price that I paid but like I said if you're not already a member just sign up they're actually I've just noticed doing 15% off today which is bigger than the amount that I got so who knows I might even have another look online and see if there's anything else I want to pick up this very much reminded me of something that I've seen on the white company which you all know I'm a big fan of so I picked up this black metal frame and as you can tell it's like a kind of vintage style with the glass opening that you just pop your photo in and then seal it shut. I paid £8.83 for this, which I think is pretty reasonable. I think they have different sizes and metal finishes as well. This is something that I have bought for our drinks trolley, which is just here. And it's something that I am wanting to dress up and I might do a little before and after over on my home account on Instagram. But it just looks a little messy, a little untidy. I want it more styled. And on top, I thought I would try this out. It is a glass carafe and this oh my god this is so heavy this little stopper here on the top just goes in like so so i thought this would be a nice like minimal piece to go on top of that drinks trolley i'm not sure whether to put it on a book or not yet i paid 12 pound 77 for this one and very good quality very impressed with this okay next up i got this hand wash comes in a little plastic bag like that which i guess is good for if there were any leakages or anything like that this one is in the bergamot and cedarwood, which I know is going to smell nice and fresh. I love the minimal design. It kind of gives me vibes of that Aesop or Aesop. I don't know how you pronounce that brand, but I love that. And in a future home, I will be purchasing some. Oh, that smells delish. Delicious. Can you say a hand soap smells delicious? I don't know, but that smells delightful. And this one was £5.89. They did have other scents available. Okay, and the last two homeware items that I picked up are both candles. We all know I'm a candle obsessive and I love the aesthetic of H&M candles. So I picked up this one, which was £8.83 and it comes with a little cork lid. And there is a reason behind getting this one. The scent of this candle is called Tomato Blossom. The reason why I wanted to try this is because I believe it's Jo Malone that have a tomato fragranced candle. I don't know the exact name of it, but it's something tomato. And I can smell it already, it smells lovely really nice and fresh and that sort of scent is designed to go in your kitchen to eliminate any like cooking odors so say you've been cooking something with a potent smell you like this and it kind of neutralizes the odor which i think is genius so this smells so fresh and i'm really excited to try that out and see if it works and the second one that i got was a bargain price of three pound 93 which is quite a difference compared to that last candle i love the scent of this it's a nice transitional scent for me leading into spring because i'm not a fan of the really like strong floral fruity kind of girly scents i i love autumn and the rich spicy woody kind of scents earthy tones hence why i like that tomato one because it's like kind of herby love that this one is in dry hay and i love the little 
design of it kind of looks like it's in a glass votive glass hurricane type design it's not quite as strong as the tomato one but i just like the freshness of it i love the aesthetic of the packaging dry hay fresh and clean grass perfectly complements the dry aroma creating serenity and ambiance lovely and a bargain that one right moving on to fashion I did pick up a couple of matching jogger sweater sets. So I'll show you these first. Uh, the first one, I got the bottoms in a medium and the top in a medium. The bottoms were only £8.83 and the top was £12.77 with my discount. I'm always a fan of the H&M Basics. This is a H&M t-shirt that I'm wearing. I just love the quality of them. I, th I think they feel really like nice and soft well made this is the cream top and then these are the bottoms they're a little more sheer than i'd like them to be but these i'm only intending on wearing around the house anyway so with nude underwear they'll be absolutely fine i mean who doesn't love a good matching jogger sweatshirt set i do and then the other matching jogger sweater set that i got are these they're more of a gray kind of mull color the top is actually hooded the joggers feel like they're a bit better quality and they're a little more pricey at $14.73 but they're still you know a really good price and then the hooded top is £12.77 again I picked up this top in a medium so if ever I'm in doubt I always tend to just stick with medium as I have with the joggers as well these are drawstrings so I feel like I can cinch them in a little bit on the waist um, although having said that they do seem quite big but you'll see what they look like on and then they have a nice little cuffed hem as well kind of reminds me of the Topshop ones that everyone raved about and that kind of grey mark nice thick fabric as well yeah really reminded me of the Topshop ones so I'm excited to lounge in this set as well okay this was actually the first item I put in my basket and they had two sweatshirts two new in um, one with like a lemon on it and I think it said limoncello and then they had a cream one with black writing on it that says atelier so I loved the kind of cream color of this and the black matching it's actually embroidered on this so it's not like a transfer it feels really really nice quality nice and soft as always with the H&M basics I am such a fan all my hoodies that I have pretty much all of them are H&M all my favorites anyway I did pick it up in a large and it is quite short so it's like a boxy fit which I quite like to be honest with you and then this one was 17 pounds and 69 pence a nice lounge but also could wear out and about in style with like leather leggings love it the next jumper that I got because I did pick up a few was 17 pounds and 67 pence with my little bonus discount for being a member and it's something that I saw, I think I saw Freya Killen try this on, either on her Instagram or in a video, I can't quite remember. But I loved it because this houndstooth or dog tooth print is very in and a nice or transitional print into spring and summer. I saw this and I like the fact that it was beige because very rarely do you see it in beige. I do have a couple of new in items that are black and white houndstooth and um, I did pick this up in a medium it is nice and soft with these kind of wool jumpers or wool texture jumpers I'm always conscious that they're going to itch but this one it does actually feel nice and soft so yeah I picked it up in a medium and I'm excited to style this up for springtime okay this jumper I think this is the last of the jumpers this is one of the things I spotted in store took a picture of the label and ordered it online uh, when I put in this order because I loved the look of it. It's just a very simple uh, knit jumper. I loved the thick kind of waistband here and slip detail. My intention to wear this is just like an everyday kind of to the shops or whatever with um, a basic underneath and maybe some leather leggings or even just jeans. I love the neckline of this as well and this I picked up in a medium and it was $19.99 so very reasonably priced and also what I like about this is it's different to any other that I have because of the colour. It's actually quite a cool toned cream kind of kind of like a grey cream the next one that I've got is called a belted shirt jacket and this I thought would be perfect as a transitional piece into spring because 
I needed some more, I've got a lot of coats, but in terms of actual like jackets, lightweight jackets, I thought I could update my wardrobe. So I picked up this one in a small, this is actually from the divided section, and a nice length as well to wear with jeans or leggings like I said. So I picked this up in a small and I thought this was so reasonable at $29.99, such an affordable price for a nice jacket to carry me through into spring. Okay, this I was on the hunt for. I've been on the hunt for a new black coat for a while. I have a faux fur black coat, but I wanted a like nice, simple, straight style coat. Very simple, classic, quite classy. This one was $39.99. Again, such an affordable price for a coat. I picked it up in a medium and it is the perfect thickness this is just what I was after because it's one that is not too thick to be solely for winter but definitely one that I could wear through into the warmer months and it's a really nice long length as well so I love that so affordable honestly H&M nail their price point and quality like blend if you know what I mean because sometimes if you get the cheap prices you compromise on the quality but I feel like H&M get that good balance so I'm really really happy with that their blazers are really good and worth investing into as well okay we're on to the next box now the next box consists of gym wear and this is what first caught my attention when I walked into H&M recently and spotted and I was like oh I'm going to take pictures of all these labels oh no I tell a lie I do have one more item <laughs> forgot about this one. This coat is brand new into H&M. It is a classic, one of their all-time classic trench coats. It was £49.99, which still under £50 for a good trench coat is, is a good price point, I think. And again, a nice coat to transition into the warmer months, which is what we're heading towards. I did pick this up in a medium. Another thing that I absolutely loved about this trench coat is the buttons and buckle, if you can see there, are a really light tortoise shell. Very rarely do you see that. It's usually a darker tortoise shell, but it's on the verge of being almost all creamy white kind of color, which I love. I've never seen one like that before. At this time of the year, when it is still quite cold, I can pair it with a hoodie underneath, like a really nice cream one that I have from H&M. That would look really nice underneath that or into the summer months with just a basic tee like this under it. So yeah, I'm really happy with that one. I'm so glad I picked it up. Okay, and now onto the gym wear sets. The leggings that I picked up are around the 19 pounds mark and the matching sports bras are from like 12 to 14 pounds, just for reference. Now this one I picked up is actually just a bra and this one was a little bit cheaper. I feel like it's just been on the site a little longer because in my last H&M haul, which gosh, must have been so long ago, I don't even know, months basically, months ago, I picked up the leggings to this because I loved the design and there was no matching sports bra, crop top bra, and um, I was really upset and disappointed that they didn't have the matching top. So now that they had the matching top in stock, I did pick this one up. It's in this gorgeous khaki kind of shade, and I picked this one up in a size small. As for the other sets that I got, I have noticed that they have not sent me one of the items. So I will be on to H&M as soon as I finish this video and try and find out where that is, because it has gone through on my order, but you know, I've not got it. So I picked up the same set in green and in black, and it's the black leggings that I'm wait, waiting on. So this is what the top looks like. Very similar to that other one I've just shown you. Nice and high neck, and it's kind of got like a halter back with a little cutout detail here as well. A nice thick, supportive like band here around your waist. It does have cups inside, but I like to remove these usually. And again, pick that up in a small. The green one that I got is again, exactly the same in a small with the little cutout detailing. So this is what the leggings look like. I love the design. If I just show you a bit closer up, you can see the detailing there on the leg. These are so thick and like Lululemon style quality, if you know what I mean but at a much more reasonable price. I mean, £20 or £19.99 for a pair of gym leggings is still 
kind of steep but for me I think quality over quantity and I also wear these during the day just to lounge in with like a hoodie as well because I find them comfortable more comfy than jeans for me they're a really good investment and there's nothing worse than getting a poor quality pair of gym leggings that either show up sweat marks if you go to the gym and you find that you'll get a bit hot and sweaty and it shows like on a gray that's just tragic and equally if you're doing squats and they're see-through and you can see everything it's just not a look so to find really good quality pairs of gym leggings like these ones from H&M super double thumbs up for me I'm so so happy so that is everything that I picked up this time round from H&M let me know if you want more H&M hauls in the future by giving me a thumbs up and letting me know in the comments below subscribe for more hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload thumbs up if you like this video and I hope to see you all in my next one bye guys